Now, Germany's decision to supply tanks to Ukraine has been greeted tentatively by some, including the Defence Minister, who said there was no reason to celebrate. Public opinion is split among Germans who find the thought of military hardware from Berlin moving into Europe uncomfortable. Leopard 2 tanks, the heavy weapons which for weeks were at the centre of a war of words, today finally given the green light by Germany. An historic but uneasy step for a country which before this war had a long-standing practice of not sending lethal weapons to conflict zones. Es kein Grund zum Jubeln, äh, auch wenn einige das anscheinend gerne tun. Das muss jeder für sich entscheiden. Ich persönlich habe großes Verständnis für die Menschen in Deutschland und in Europa, die sich Sorgen machen. The tanks debate has been internationally and domestically divisive. Some have taken to the streets to try to force the government to act, but others, haunted by history, are terrified of being drawn into a wider war. This has been a difficult decision for Germany. While the majority of the public want to support Ukraine, some fear by sending heavy weapons they could become the next target. And after all, this is a huge step. It's the first time German tanks have been sent to a European battlefield since World War II. Seven decades on, the memory of that conflict still casts long shadows over Berlin. What do you think about Germany allowing Leopard 2 tanks to go to Ukraine? So I think it's a very tough situation, but I think also doing nothing wouldn't be right. So I think it's the right decision to help Ukraine. Germany is getting too involved into the war and um, yeah, I don't want my son to be a soldier in the war. It's a crazy idea because Germany is now part of the war and um, it's going to get a very big problem for the whole world, maybe nuclear bombs. Politicians are by no means deaf to these concerns, but with today's announcement, the German government has gone further than many would have imagined 12 months ago. It is uh, significant with regard to the political domain. Um, so Germany, at the end of the day, has, has moved itself, or has been moved by all its allies, carried uh, over, the, over the red lines that Germany has given itself uh, for such a long time. Sending these tanks may not be the last red line Germany has to cross. The war is evolving, presenting fresh political and moral challenges for all involved. Siobhan Robbins, Sky News, Berlin.